Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Metroid Prime Remastered. Now this was a shadow drop of a game from Nintendo. Nobody was expecting a remaster for Metroid Prime. We were actually hoping for Metroid Prime 4. Or at least a new Metroid title altogether. But so we got the remaster. Nevertheless, this was a fantastic game on the GameCube. But another part of my childhood that I thought, let's go ahead and revisit the remaster. Go ahead and get right in. Unidentified distress beacon has been tracked to a derelict space vessel in orbit above Talon 4. You know, I'm going to say this, and I know some people are probably going to disagree with me. I definitely feel like some of the aspects of the later Metroid games, like Metroid Prime and forward, I definitely think were inspired by Halo. Right now, granted, yes, yeah, Samus is, I believe, older than Master Chief. So, I guess one could argue that Master Chief was maybe, maybe, big maybe, based off Samus. Just because of the whole power armor thing, space and whatnot. But again, I have no idea. It's just some of the elements in Metroid Prime that do kind of remind me a little bit of Halo. But, granted, that's not out of the ordinary for anything really in the art field. Games, movies... Something is always inspired by something else, and sometimes they copy back and forth. I think a perfect example is Marvel and DC. They've always copied each other back and forth. One of them will come up with an idea, then that, the other guy will use it, and it's idea hot potato. So, I wouldn't doubt that for a little bit there, Metroid and Halo did something similar. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, granted, if you think back, Metal Gear Solid, Siphon Filter, and Splinter Cell did that. Hell, they used to make direct references to each other. But, I remember speaking of the last reference to each other. I mean, Siphon Filter's been long dead, so I don't think anybody really cared about that, but... When Ghost Recon had Sam Fisher in there, and he realized that Metal Gear was essentially done, and... What was it, the lady that's your handler? She was like, oh yeah, I think he's retired or whatever. I, I think I can't remember what she said. Sam looks and goes, oh. I'm all that's left. Like, he wasn't happy about it. He was actually kind of disappointed. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into So, so far... This game looks pretty. Audio is okay. Now, granted, I'm running this on emulation. So... Okay, so how do I do this thing? Okay, so we do... Nope. How do I scan? Nope, that's a ball. I don't know the controls. There we go. You know what this is also making me think of too? Um, Dead Space. Remember when I was a kid, I had no idea what to do here. I got lost for like so long. And I just started messing with stuff. I'm like, oh, that's what you do. I'm not going to lie, I was way too young for this game. I remember playing this and thinking, like, oh my god, this is the scariest thing ever as a child. Granted, I think I was playing this when I was maybe, like, six? I was a little guy. Oh, hey, look, it's a little annoying pain in the asses. Hey, you ugly little crap turd. Man, they look made you look pretty. God, I always hated these things. Wait, do I need to activate that? Alright, so I had nothing to do there. Cool. Or maybe I did? Cool. I did a thing. Oh, there they are. Are you guys following me? Wait. I was actually kind of hoping they were following me. For a minute there, I I was hoping. Wait, actually, isn't there a thingy before? I know I'm saying actually a lot. Isn't there a thingy? No, there's not a thingy. I remember there was like a place that you could go into a ball and roll it. That's awesome. There's a little vultures. That is awesome looking. That's one of the parasite queen. I remember there only being one parasite queen. I don't remember this being there. That is awesome. There's our space pirates, which... I've never understood these guys. Are they like robots? Or are they just in armor? I don't know what the hell these things are. What are they, bugs? I guess they're just straight up aliens. Yeah, I don't really know 
I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't know much about Metroid at all. Like, wait, what am I supposed to? Oh, hold on. I just know that Samus is like a bounty hunter, and she's out fighting space pirates. That's about all I know about her. And then what is it? She killed was the mother brain, some big alien brain dinosaur looking thing. Also, wasn't she, like, raised, like, bird people that were, like, super intelligent? The Chozo, I think they were called. Like I said, I know a little bit about Samus. I don't know a whole lot. I'm noticing some audio lag. I'm noticing crackling, too. Now, granted, I am emulating this. Now, I'm emulating it because I've never had a capture card up until now, and also video games are expensive. And I could use my capture card and play it. Alright, so I gotta wait for that. I remember when I was a dumb young lad, I ran right into those electric wires, if you will, or electric bolts. I see they kept in that detail where you could see Samus's face when you shoot. Or when you're near fire. Like, basically anytime it's like refresh. Hold on, let me see if I can. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can see your face a bit. I wonder how they did that effect. I wonder if. Hmm. How would they pull off that effect in game? You know, maybe someone in the comments section can just tell me straight up. But this is just me talking to talk. Um, oh, missiles. I wasted a missile! I mean, it's fine, we're gonna lose these abilities in a minute anyway. Okay, cool. Anyway. What I think they did... Again, this is all just based on theories, because I have no idea. I would imagine Samus' face is some kind of... mesh, in a way? That's only triggered... by... Flashes of our gun? Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, kind of like an extra layer, but you only see it. Or maybe. No. If any of you know how they pulled it off, tell me in the comment section. I'm curious. Because, I mean, especially for the GameCube, that was kind of ahead of its time. Alright, bro, you need to chill. There we go. The hell are you? An ice shriek bat. Oh, and it's native to the planet I'm gonna be on. Cool, and this ugly little thing is a parasite larva. Harmless only let's count in large numbers. Fantastic. Are you another ice bat? Shriek bat, yeah, another shriek bat. What are you? It's a plated parasite larva. Yeah, these guys, I remember, they were fun. And these guys, I remember them. A war wasp! Oh, great! That's a fantastic name, another war wasp. Yo, we need just a big can of raid. I'm just seeing a lot of insects and parasites. We just need raid! Let's just get some raid, maybe some ortho. I think ortho is for pest control. Oh, hi! That worked. Nope. There we go. Alright, so we got a bunch of little parasite dudes eating aliens. There you go, kill them with a missile. So what are these? The uh, space pirate, death caused by removal of internal organs. 
and Samus isn't the least bit concerned for what would cause the removal of organs. I would be. Just like I'm concerned about the damned hurt. Damn it, missed. Mother, sister, stay still. How many more missiles do I have? Six. This is not going in my favor. I suck at this game. Okay, see, that's new. I don't remember being able to draw in, like, items and what have you from, uh, whatchamacallsits. Sure, let's save. From being in the ball. That I don't remember. Oh, you're just gonna lock on me again. Thanks, you pain in my rear end. I see the noise telling me I'm not allowed to get out of the ball is still a thing, though. That hasn't changed. Rolling around at the... Never mind. Damn it. Oh my god, that soundtrack. God, I remember this song. Oh my god, this is just bringing back memories. I'm being a nerd. I'm being a geek. I just, I remember this as a kid. I also remember this game, or not this game, but this boss giving me trouble as a kid. Again, I was a young lad. I didn't know what I was doing. Also, like, who in their right mind was running this facility? And how did all of the... I'm, okay, maybe the space pirates attack, but still. You have all of these, what I'm assuming to be extremely dangerous... Aliens. Just hanging out in this space station, and you don't have some kind of crazy defense system. Uh, Parasite Queen, Parasite Female. Genetically enhanced by unknown means. Great. Oh, the face. Okay. And she's done. You're still trying. TFO. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ups and overs. Cool. Oh, yeah, wait. We don't. I know Ridley. Oh, that might be why I think the space pirates attacked the save Ridley. I think that's what it was. I think Ridley was stuck in here. Was it Ridley? What's his name? Oh. Oh, that's space pirates. Was that the parasite queen? Nope, now it's dead. I'm just gonna YOLO speedrun. I mean, again, none of this really matters right now. Just for the fact that we're gonna lose all of our abilities anyway. Hey, remember that thing where it was like, they're dangerous in large numbers? Oh, there you go. Yeah, these things creep me out as a kid. When I was a wee lad, I was like, ew, gross, stay the hell away from me. Now as an adult, I'm like, hmm, bugs, evil, starship troopers. I'm a nerd, the first thing I think of when I think of bugs in space is starship troopers. I was kind of hoping I could do splash damage on them. It didn't work like that. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, that's one way to open a door. Like, a lot of this is coming back to me. Like, I remember this, you know, sense of urgency to get out. I remember the bugs. I remember the Parasite Queen. I remember these damn turrets, which are probably going to stop me from moving forward unless I destroy them. They're going to keep hurting me. There we go. Yep, so I had to kill them in order to stop them. Okay, cool. Lord willing, I don't have to deal with another one. Got some health back from that. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to dip right through. Get out of here as quickly as possible. Uh, magic door. There you go. Oh. Uh, how do I? Oh no, I had to follow this. See, that was another thing that sucked as a kid, not knowing what to do. So when you have this, like, time-based event like that, where this thing is just going to launch right at you, it really sucked. There he is. So was he stuck here, or was he always here? But, yeah, he's just going to GTFO. Is it Ridley or... No, I'm thinking Rip... Okay, I'm dumb. It's, I think it's Ridley, if I remember correctly. Oh! Cool! There we go. You know, for a game with, like no dialogue and just Samus making noises and getting injured. It's a great game. Yep, there you go. We lost all of our abilities. Samus, you have the worst suit ever. If you can lose all of your abilities just like that, that sucks. And also, what kind of a crappy bounty, hunt, bounty hunter are you that you don't have spares in your ship? Okay, let's, let's think about this, right? Say her suit operates in the way where it's like, all right, it falls apart in order to somewhat preserve itself. So rather than the whole thing just blowing up at zero, it starts falling apart in pieces, giving her a chance to escape. That could make sense as a survivability thing. But on the other hand, what kind of a crappy bounty hunter are you that you don't have spare parts to replace in your ship? Or some kind of way of repairing said broken or missing parts. This lady's been at this since she was a kid. Never thought to do that once. Never thought to have your ship, you know, with a custom fix thingy. Repair area, if you will. Striking on enemy target has been lost. Ground base recon required. Okay, bye. So Ridley's a space pterodactyl that can just survive going through orbit. Or going through the atmosphere, I'm sorry. Why the hell did I say orbit? Oh boy, new extras! Yay! Sure, let's say it, why not? Oh boy, our game saved! No, don't go in the ship, you stupid! Oh, why don't you save? Game was not saved. No kidding! Why did it not save? It's not because I told it no. Yeah, it totally didn't have an effect. Again, I just remember being on this planet and it creeped me the hell out as a kid. Oh, 
Oh my god. I have the dumbest grin on my face right now. You can't see it, but it is there. Now see, I don't know how this works, but I remember an old co-worker of mine, when I would say stupid stuff, he would say something in response to being like, Nick, I can hear you smiling. So I don't know if you lads can hear it, but I am smiling. Ow, how the hell did you hit? Okay, bull. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I have absolutely no idea where the hell I'm going. I just know that this whole game, the idea is like, Hey, you want to go to this area? Well, you need a special upgrade for that. You want to go to this place? Guess what? There's an upgrade for that, too. Is it too cold? Like, right now, probably? Oh, no, this is all sand. Never mind. Is it too cold for you? Well, we have a heated suit for you. Is it too hot? Well, we've got a chilled out suit for you. Is it too dark? We've got a sparkly, glowy outfit just for you. Pretty. Now I'm thinking Dark Souls. Why am I thinking Dark Souls? Hi! Yeah, if you guys could all, like, screw off, that'd be awesome. Yeah, these guys used to, but like, a lot of these, these, they're insects, let's be honest. They're essentially insects, and they used to bug me out. No pun intended. Oh, okay. I'm like, why is it doing the thingy? Why is it going boop boop? I'm like, okay, duh, because it wants me to hit the button, stupid. You know, one thing that I never understood about, like, space fantasy, not even fantasy, but just, like, space kind of sci-fi video games. You ever notice how in these games is always, like, this super-duper intelligent, advanced species of people? But apparently they're so advanced that they got wiped out. Right? Like, we're such a wonderful species! But, uh, yeah, you guys all died. Right? Like, my first thought is, like, the Forerunners from Halo, for example. That, yes, I get it. They got wiped out because of the flood. I get it. But... What the hell are you... You know, I never understood you guys. What are you, like, leeches? Ow. Okay, get... Screwed. Screw them. But, like, I never understood that. You guys are apparently, like, the most advanced species in the galaxy. The most advanced people in the galaxy. But somehow, you still got wiped out. How did you have no countermeasure? How did you have no way of stopping the thing that was going to wipe you out? You're so advanced because well, I guess you're not that advanced. Hmm. What was this one again? Don't I get attacked by a horde? Oh, yeah. But naturally, of course, why would it, you know, just give me the missile? Didn't I have to attack the machine? Okay, you guys are rude. Went for them to stop. Alright, where, where's... This other wasp? Okay. Oh, he missed. Cool. Come on. Let me see you. Let me see you. There you are. Gotcha. Trying it. Yeah, I'm just going to keep shooting. Just going to keep shooting. We don't have limited ammo here. Ammo or anything. Samus is a human ammunition factory. 
Oh my god. Oh, I hate these wasps. I don't hate them because they're insects and they creep me out or anything like that. Like, it's not, it's not like that at all. It's just they're annoying. They still... Oh. I could probably... Okay, never mind. I, I probably can't do anything. Alright, so you guys are just one at a time going to attack me. I have to try to gauge where you guys... Oh, there you are, like that. Wait, can't she lock on? Oh, no, she can't lock on. I was going to say, can't Samus lock on to an enemy? Like that. Yeah, exactly. So, I can't attack them unless... There we go. I do good. I do good. I did good. I got my magic missile back. Oh boy. There we go. Okay. Don't these plant... Don't these hurt me? Oh yeah, but they hide, don't they? I forgot. I could have sworn they hurt you, but... Maybe I'm wrong about that. Do you slow down my movement or something? I guess they just slow my movement? Oh, hmm. I should have gotten the ball upgrade. Oh well. Oh my god, I was about to say, like, crap, don't tell me I have to redo this fight. I don't think the game makes you repeat bosses. Again, I don't think so. Think is the key word here. Oh crap, crap, bad, bad, bad. Sorry, Samus, I'm a dum dum. Okay, we're gonna shoot that dude, because he a pain in the rear end. And more of these waspy dudes. Again, pins in the rear ends. Get through here. Oh, cool. Doesn't this also count as a save, or am I wrong? This gives me the map, I think. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't count as a save point. I'm gonna have to fight you guys even though you're annoying as hell. God, honestly, you know, part of me misses being a kid. Not even for the fact that, you know, responsibilities and everything. I miss being a kid for the fact, like, I remember being so excited for these kind of games, you know? We're not even just excited, but like, the nervousness, the creep factor, the... Okay, this is a save point. Alright, I'm just gonna use this real quick. Like, again, when I played this, I was so creeped out by the bugs and the various parasites and things. Like, I used to get chills in the back of my neck. I could feel the chills. I was like, oh god, no, I don't want this. Like, leave me alone. Now as an adult, I'm like, eh. You see one bug in a video game, you've seen them all. Whatever. Ain't nothing special about this. I've lost the will to live. My childhood, my youth is gone. I'm now just another miserable adult. Another cog in the machine. Tis but life. Okay, we gotta deal with these guys. I forgot where their boss was. Because there is a dude that's a bigger version of them. Equally an amount of pain in the rear end is... Oh. There we go. He's just as much of a pain in the butt. I got more of you little parasite dudes. You are all so annoying! They gone, demons. Here it is. I found it. He's probably going to kick my butt.
All right, these honestly, now I'm thinking about it, remind me of Starship Troopers. Like, little bits of Starship Troopers. Like, um, I don't know if you guys know the enemy that I'm going to refer to. Like, the General Arachnids and the... What were those things? The Chariot Bugs. If those two had a baby. Okay, so we... Samus, you have missiles, but yet for some reason... Your... You know, your missiles don't do AoE. What the hell kind of missiles you packing, lady? Alright, so the little purple ones are 10% health. And the big ones are 100%. The red... Ah, yes, there's Dancy Pants. I remember, this one likes to bounce around a lot. Like the big red gorilla butt. Yeah, there he is. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he can fly a little bit, can he? Oh, that's new. A new creature has been added to your download log. Morphology to play the beetle. Well armored, burrowing, of course. Uh, cranial, uh, yeah, ramming. Okay, cool. And I figured all that. I was really hoping it would just. Up oh, there, it goes dead anyway. I win. Use me while I go recollect my balls. Also, the logic of how this works. Samus becomes a ball. Like, let's be real here. The way she morphs into this thing... I feel like that would break every bone in her body. And she does it so quickly, too. It's not even like she's trying to fit into the ball. No, the ball makes her fit. Like, she squeezes. She... Definitely is breaking something. Like, at this point, she should be retired as a bounty hunter. Just for the fact that her spine is now shattered in three places. Like, it don't matter how badass Samus is, especially if the fact that her, you know, spine shattered. She ain't doing nothing with a said shattered spine. This ain't happening. This lady, she gotta retire. That's her only option. By the time she's in her elder years, she's gonna have the worst arthritis. She's gonna have a miserable retirement year. But anyway, lads, that's where we're leaving this one for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. As always, if you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy this nonsense, please feel free to leave some kind of activity. As any and all activity helps the algorithm push our channel out, it helps our community grow, and I absolutely appreciate you for all the help. If you want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for our Discord, where we do little community events, we hang out, we game, and we chat. Um, and also, guys, I am using the likes and dislikes as a way of voting for content, so if you guys want to see more of this, leave a like. If you don't want to see it, leave a dislike. I'll see you around. Thank you, everyone. Love you all. Have a fantastic night, everybody.